So, you're looking for a Lutron wireless solution, but you are over 100 devices. Well, let's talk about it. Let's take this project for example, a two-story, four-bedroom house, where I need to design and supply a lighting control system, knowing that it is a retrofit project, the wiring of the electrics is to be kept to a strict minimum, and the other thing to be kept to a minimum is the budget. On the other hand, the client really wants to invest into a reliable lighting control solution, and that's where we've been involved, which is great. The only thing is that once we've counted the total number of lighting circuits, then the total number of wireless wall controls, and then the total number of Lutron motorized blinds and curtains, as well as the main repeater and any auxiliary repeater we might need on that project, we get well over 100 Lutron devices. Therefore, this project is too large for me to specify a Lutron Ratu Select as a Ratu Select system has to be less than 100 devices. So, what can I do? Specify two separate Ratu Select systems inside the same house? No, no. I won't do that. This is not how those systems are meant to be used. On top of that, the client will be missing out too much on the benefits and features of a proper centralized lighting control system. The second option might be to specify Lutron Homeworks. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be over budget. And also, we need to keep the wiring to a strict minimum, remember? Well, actually, we can mix some of the concepts here and find a solution. Check this out. But before we go any further, today's video is sponsored by Ace Contracts. Ace Contracts specialize in the supply and installation of motorized blinds and curtains. Based in the UK, this family business has grown to be one of the industry leaders in the high-end residential and commercial market. I've been working with Ace for over 10 years now and I've always been impressed by their attention to details. They can also make and customize in-house most aspects of your windows treatments. And as a lighting control specialist like myself, working with a Lutron shading provider such as Ace or my projects always guarantee the highest finish and client satisfaction. Beside blinds and curtains, they really understand the need of integrators and home automation specialists with regards to wiring, control and integration, which is great. And if you want to know more, check out their contact details in the comment section below. Now, let's go back to our tutorial. First of all, because of the total number of Lutron devices on that project, this will have to be a Lutron homework system, which means that we will need a Lutron homework QSX processor together with its own power supply fitted inside a Lutron enclosure. Lutron homework processors have two links that allow them to communicate with other Lutron devices, such as wired dimmer modules, keypads, and blinds. And the great thing is that you can make those links to also talk to Lutron wireless devices. To do so, on a specific link, you will have to add first a Lutron hybrid system repeater. This repeater, hardwired on one side to the processor, will communicate wirelessly with Lutron inline wireless dimmers and inline switch modules, with Lutron wireless 0 to 10 volt and relay modules, Lutron plug-in lamp dimmers, Lutron wireless Sivoya blinds and curtains, and Lutron triathlon battery operated blinds, and also with Pico wall controls. The total number of devices I can have on a link, it's 98. And if you add one wireless address used by the repeater, you get to use 99 devices per processor link. And if I have a project with more than 100 devices, like I have here, I can use the other link of that very same Lutron Homos processor and add another hybrid repeater, which will also be able to manage another 98 devices. Sorted. <laughs> So here, for example, because I have more than 100 Lutron devices, I can use only number one, one hybrid repeater for the control of Lutron devices on the ground floor, and on link number two of the processor, another hybrid repeater to control Lutron devices on the first floor. 
And although these are two separate links with two separate repeaters, they are both going back to the very same Lutron QSX processor and they are part of the same homework system. And this will be completely transparent for the end user who will be able to control any lights and any motorized blinds from any Picos in the house, regardless of which repeater it is attached to. And that's how a proper centralized lighting control system should be. Just a quick note about compatibility. Please note that at the time of this recording, inline wireless dimmer for Homeworks have the same specification as the one used on Ratu Select. However, they don't have the same part number, so make sure to use the Homeworks version, and this also applies to the inline switch module. Everything else, like Lutron Picos, 0 to 10 volt and switch wireless modules, wireless and battery operated Lutron blinds, are all compatible with both systems. Finally, remember that once you add a hybrid repeater on the processor link, you can only use wireless devices on that link and nothing else. The only wired devices that you could eventually add is another hybrid repeater to extend the wireless range, for example. And if you do so, bear in mind that this repeater will also use one wireless address and you will be left with 97 devices for that particular link. Also with Homeworks, clients will still be able to use their Lutron app to control their lighting control system from inside and away from their house, as well as to modify some of the system parameters. However, any future addition of equipment, like adding a new wireless dimmer for example, will have to be done by a Lutron professional using the Lutron software and then to upload the file to the Homeworks processor. But that's probably something to expect on a larger system like this one. Now, let's have a quick look at the Homeworks programming. Like any other homework system, it will have to be programmed using the homework software. All the rooms will have to be created with all the corresponding lighting circuits, Lutron motorized blinds, and Pico controls. And once all the Lutron equipment has been fully installed and wired, the system will have to be commissioned and programmed to clients' needs and requirements. Now, let's have a quick look at what's available when we use Pico controls on a homework system. For example, on a Ratu Select system, that type of Pico remote is fully associated with a specific circuit or group of circuits to behave in the very same way, with an all on always set to 100%, an all off, and a favorite scene. When the same Pico remote is used on a homework system, if I touch the top button here, for example, I can assign one or a group of circuits, but with the difference that I can specify the level for each individual lighting circuits. <laughs> so, in my dining room where I have multiple lighting circuits, for example, instead of having all of them going to full brightness, every time I press on that top button here, I can customize a nice lighting scene instead where my pendant goes to 50%, LED strip goes to 100%, and the down lighters go to 70%. And I can even add a delay and modify fade time for each individual circuit to add a bit of a je ne sais quoi to my lighting scenes. <laughs> Brilliant. This flexibility is great, especially when we want to use this type of Pico remote to keep the dedicated raise and lower buttons, which are very convenient for the users. Picos on Homeworks are supercharged. <laughs> Let me take this other type of Pico just as an example. Each button on a Pico can be set to toggle, which is not available to this day on Ratu Select. So you can program a circuit or a group of circuits to toggle on and off, with the luxury to define the lighting levels for each of them for the on and the off position, like I'm doing here. I can have a nice scene when I toggle on, and have a long fade to off when I toggle off, for example, which is great. On the homework systems, buttons on Picos can also be programmed using conditional logic, which is also not available on Ratu Select. So, let's say, for example, that in certain areas, like in corridors, for example, I want to keep my buttons to a minimum using that type of Picos here. But I want a certain level of vavavoom, and with homeworks, I'm not limited to a full on and off. On the top button of this Pico, installed on the first floor landing, 
I can use conditional programming like I'm doing here to turn on the lighting circuits to a high level during daytime but then to automatically set the on button to a much lower level of illumination when that button is pressed at night time. So when the little ones need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, they won't get blinds with bright lights, but instead they will find their way in a very soft light. This is so cool. <laughs> When you use Homeworks, you then get access to advanced programming for time clocks, vacation mode and security mode. You can use shared and area scenes. You can use manual and automatic sequences and Pico wireless controls will be able to interact with all of those, which is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, it will be too long here to list all the features and benefits that you will be able to access using wireless devices on the Lutron Homework system. But it will definitely get the user experience to the next level in a cost-effective way when your project is over 100 devices or if you need full flexibility on a retrofit project. Voila, there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you have any questions on Lutron Homeworks or Lutron Rat to Select, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much. Good luck and talk to you again on the next tutorial.